So, is golf a sport or a game? Um, I think it's a game if you just play it socially. And I mean, I play it socially, but it becomes a sport when you kind of look into like, how do I optimize what I have? How do I hit it further? How do I stop uh, the, you know, the ravages of aging? Is you, you know, your game just, well, you definitely lose distance. So for me, as I turn 47 in two months, what's turned me around, like I think I'm now currently hitting the ball probably further than I ever have. And that's, you know, back into my 20s when I was in my best physical shape and, and you know, training to be a professional golfer. You see now I'm, you know, almost 50. And now it's just something that I try and uh, uh, see what is possible. So, so things that have changed this year, um, it's definitely one of these drivers. So, I mean, I mean, all the companies making great drivers, but this one for me has stuck there. It's the Callaway, the Paradigm, the Triple Diamond. I got a 10.5 head, which I think with that LS with sort of a low spinning head has made a big difference. Then you've got to find the golf ball. Um, for me, the, actually the Pro V1X um, seems to optimize the distance. And then shaft wise, the Ventus 6X, the blue. Um, so, I mean, apart from getting fitted or finding out a club that can optimize on that, you can only really do by something like looking on TrackMan and really seeing what are your stats. I mean, all the, all the, there's so much good stuff out there, but finding clubs that actually optimize what you have. So that's the first thing. So you can just do that and that's fine. You know, that's gonna definitely help. But then if you really wanna get into it, so you wanna make this a sport, you know, get something like the stack, uh, and then get something to actually measure that. So I've got like this little thing, you've probably seen these around, it's just a radar. So that gives me something to try and beat. So I'm trying to beat that every time. Uh, I'm trying to improve my speed. And I have. Uh, the only thing sometimes is that it makes it, uh, when you do increase your speed, it sometimes takes away a little bit from those finesse shots with the irons. But if you wanna play longer and hit the ball further, this is what you gotta do. So you gotta do all this stuff, you gotta get speed training, you gotta get the right equipment. Then probably most important is, you gotta do weights, you gotta do weights. Not just weights, you gotta do uh, full strength training. So what I've found, for me, uh, you can do this in the house. Just set up a mat, have two, three sets of weights, something to, to roll you out. Um, Peloton or any of those apps have got full strength training for like 20, 30 minutes a day if you can. I mean, if you, if you want to uh, be in shape, this is what you gotta do. So get up earlier. Um, you will see a difference. And then obviously the last thing, and I said that last thing from the, the uh, TPI with Greg Rose saying, it's all good and well, doing all this stuff, your technique's still gotta be good. So that's the last uh, uh, um, sort of uh, piece of the puzzle. Uh, you've got to find a way to optimize your technique along with your body and the speed training and everything like that. And, but these things all go together. So just getting a golf lesson, just getting a new driver, just working out, it's not unfortunately going to do everything that you want it to do. You have to put the package together, and especially as we get older. So give it a try. I mean, especially if you want longevity and uh, you want to play until you're... 60, 70, 80 years old if we live that long, 90. So uh, yeah, the whole package.